Hey guys, DRS here. Today I'm bringing you a brand new video and it is of the class setup that I promised you on my Brutal video which went live yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go check it out. And uh, this is the class I use, the one you are currently watching now, or looking at I should say. Uh, it's of the FHR40 counterweight and uh, this actually reduces your recoil and this stacks with full grip, meaning this gun, which has 97 fire rate, which is absolutely mad, is reduced hugely by uh, full grip and its built in stability. Um, it also has quick draw on it just to accelerate the time of ADSing, which is aiming down sight for those who don't know. Um, now, I have updated a class of this because at the time of the gameplay I was actually really low level and didn't have a better variant of the FHR at the time. However, now that has changed and as you can see here, I have the Havoc with the flipping sick anodized camo. I absolutely love that. Uh, I've got full grip uh, and quick draw as before. However, I've put on extended mags this time as well. I find um, challenging more than one person with this gun was always difficult because of its fire rate. So uh, I've just added an extended mags on there to put 60 bullets per clip instead of what I believe was 40 initially. Um, I've also changed out the perks uh, to dexterity and I've now got ghost on there as well. Honestly, I love ghost in majority of games and with this one you don't actually have to be moving to have ghost be effective for you so that's really really useful. Uh, hardline, honestly hardline in this game is absolutely fantastic. I would recommend anyone running this, uh, anyone to run this I apologise. Uh, and point. I put that on for now, however if I did have the choice I would go for Dead Silence because that is brilliant, that's like Blast Suppress and Dead Silence from Black Ops 3 put together, that is honestly, I would have that any day. Um, maybe upon full release also I would change my perk one to just Ghost or just Dexterity, probably just Ghost and have Hardline and Scavenger on for perk 2 with what would be perk 2 Greed. Now, I've also got rid of lethals and tacticals here as well. Um, honestly, I don't use them that much, although I found myself using them more in this game than I do usually, but that's just honestly me changing this game, I guess. I mean, I love the way frags are thrown in this game. Completely off topic, but I love them. It's just like offhand, yes. It gives a purpose to the left hand, I guess, in this game, but whatever. And the tacticals are the personal radars. Um, honestly, I found these really nice, like, you can pick up an easy one or two kills from these, and when I had two on there, it was just, like, a nice lifesaver uh, every now and again, but, like, I don't know, I mean, again, the classic grenade was pretty cool, I mean, it's the only one of the grenades I've used, except for the trip mine, I've thrown that down once or twice on the preset sniper class, but, honestly, I don't really like using it, um, I've got a few cameras on the gun, but, honestly, that's pretty much that, and, uh, you'll also see some gameplay as well after this. If you want some examples, I'll throw them in as well. Uh, and at the time, I was actually using the Synatic. I'm going to skip that. And I was using the Equalizer with Combat Burst. However, if you have Propulsion, this is like Afterburner. That can be stupidly OP, but it needs to be nerfed a bit, honestly. It just accelerates the game too much. And personally, I think it ruins the game a tiny bit. Thank God, though, this isn't a perk. Like... It would ruin the game, personally. I think it would ruin the game. However, I, I, at the time, I was quite basic, as I said, so this is what I was running. Equalizer, which is really nice. However, people have moved on. I then went to the FTL, but I'm sticking for now with Combat Focus and Ping. Now, Combat Focus, when paired with Hardline, will give you 250 points per kill, which is pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. And Ping is just brilliant. Uh, returning from Ghosts, it gives you a uh, little ping of a UAV, a circular ping of a UAV around the death of an enemy when you kill them, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't know whether it activates for enemy uh, other friendlies as well. I have seen random pings appear on my minimap, so I presume so. But apart from that, uh, that's that's all I know from for that. Um, also, another reason why I recommend Hardline so much is that it's slightly bringing this back, I know, but 
instead of getting 75 points for the first 8 kills, you will get 125 points, and 2 assists will give you the same, so that's huge, that's an extra 50 points per kill for the first 8, that's an extra 400 points right there, if you can live that long. So for score streaks in the original game, uh, I was actually using these three, the standard three, uh, UAV 400, Scorchers for 800 and Warden for 1100. However, now I've changed it to the RC8, trying to get a gameplay with that, however, I haven't earned it yet. Uh, I have earned a Thor in a TDM game, but honestly, actually no, I've earned it twice, I apologise, uh, but I didn't really get that many kills with it. I got it once on Frost, and everyone was just inside the spaceship building anyway, and throwback, I managed to get a couple of kills, but even then, people were just staying inside, it's quite an underpowered one, to be honest, despite its points. I think it needs to be buffed a bit, because... You know, when it's crossed between an ACR, um, AC-130 and a Reaper, you would think it's a bit better, but sadly not. And for 1300 points, it needs to be better, to be honest. Um, Advanced UAV, I can't wait for that to come. Like, when the game comes out, I'm going to be rocking that all day. So, if the full game was out, I would probably run UAV, Advanced UAV, and maybe the RC-8 or Warden, or AP-36X, uh, rather depending on how good these two are right here uh, and that's all because of hardline making my life really really easy so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my uh, my video today and uh, i'm gonna leave some clips running uh, as we speak just getting a few kills showing you how easy i'm gonna use maybe a few kills for my uh, brutal gameplay as well because like honestly this gun is brilliant either when you're using the counterweight the standard Havoc or whatever versions there are like honestly this gun is absolutely insane so I recommend it to anyone um, another one I recommend is the MP4 I use that in my like first attempt you know it being the first assault rifle this course what I would choose but honestly like I find MP4 pretty powerful as well so if you're going for the two guns I would recommend it's pretty much like the ASM1 and the BAL from Advanced Warfare their equivalents in this game the BAL equivalent being the MB4, absolute beast of a gun. I mean, the K-BAR is another good gun, but I think the MB4 just tops it. And the FHR-40. I mean, people have been doing well with the e rad and the Karma, but I think FHR just takes it a little step further. Right, enough rambling on. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys enjoyed the clips there as well, and uh, I'll see you guys on my next video, whenever that may be. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe next midweek. Thanks all for watching, see you guys next time.